Good afternoon. Welcome to Sound Pilot's five day streaming marathon. Oh, snap. Okay, so um, we're going to get started with some of the new pieces. Maybe I'll go back and forth, but this first piece is called The Principles of causal, what is it called? Principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. The principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. Here we go, enjoy. my new looping pieces, the principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. I'm just going to turn this microphone down. Might make a little sound. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here we go. These, uh, these three looping pieces are all very different from each other, so I hope you enjoy the differences as well as the, uh, the technique involved, which is similar, the same, I guess. Okay.
Thank you.
That was The Principles of Causal Completeness and Reciprocity, a new piece in E flat. I had a little trouble getting to the, uh, I started streaming a little earlier than I should have because I hadn't set up my transition to the causal completeness background that you see here. But we're going to go right on to uh, one of the fun pieces and then back for a second looping piece. Uh, this piece is called Drumhead. It's a favorite. And I'm um, just booting it up now. Let's see if I can... Okay, there's Drumhead, and here's Drumhead. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> shouldn't have done that. For some reason, Drumhead makes me happy. Quit my core audio, for those of you who are using Koji, this program has nine clip synths. Okay, drumhead. Enjoy. Drumhead. I love those guys, every one of them. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so Drumhead is now going to be replaced by a new looping piece called Connect the Dots. Uh, I hope you enjoy this piece. It's, uh, it's brand new. I've got to thank, um, 
An old high school friend, Artris Woodard, who's a graphic designer and watercolor painter, supplying me with the raw materials for me to create the backdrops for Connect the Dots. Let's see if I can quickly bring all that up. I've got my little, I created a, uh, each of these keyboards has a word on it. for triggering these environments. So um, connect the dots. This is new. Here's the uh, that. And then here's the vibes. OK. Enjoy. Enjoy. Connect the dots. This is very different than the previous piece, uh, the principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. That was in a kind of E-flat thing. This is more abstract. light back here that I broke, but that's okay. Here we go. Connect the dots. 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 Dots.
Connect the dots. All those numbers, you got to connect them. I see that the Phoenix Orchestra has joined us. If you can uh, check out their schedule and follow them, either look them up online or here on Twitch. Phoenix Orchestra. Um, Okay, this next piece is going to be, let's do Dance Gallery. That's a fun one, right? The Dance Gallery. Let's see if I can quickly 
bring that up. It's there, but it's not here. Why isn't it here? Oh, that's why. Dance gallery. Let's see if it comes up now. Yay. Okay. I wonder why my, um, okay. My little iPad was not on, but maybe I could pause it. I don't think I'm, that would mind it. Okay. Dance gallery. Here we go. I don't see why it's not working. It's because that didn't go. All right, I think it'll go now, will it? Dance gallery? I know why.
Okay. Bravo. Bravo. Let's hear it for them again. Bravo. Can I take my sound down here? I think I can. There's a whole minute delay between what I'm seeing there and what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see, where are we going to go now? Where are we going to fly off to now? Okay. I think maybe I'll stay in this environment one more time and do the, um, do the road trip, which is a favorite of mine. See if I can just get everything to go there. This is called road trip. And it's kind of a nostalgic piece of mine from my high school days after I got my driver's license. Okay, here we go. You know what? I'm going to put on my, my little earphones for this. Don't go away. hate wearing these, but I'm going to wear them. Okay. Road trip.
Road trip. Road trip. Fun ride. We're going to go back and do the final looping piece called Spider's Rendezvous. Spider's Rendezvous does not come back to the drum kit. It stays over there. So let's see if I can bring up Spider's Rendezvous. Very different piece than the other two. Uh, spider. Spider's Rendezvous. Did not go. Sp spider's Rendezvous. Oh, I see why. Spider's Rendezvous. Go, go. There we go. And here's the configuration for Spider's Rendezvous. Enjoy. Spider's Rendezvous is my current favorite. Although I really like connected dots and the principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. I'm really into Spider's Rendezvous right now. If I can remember how it goes. Oh yeah.
Spider's Rendezvous. Okay. We're going to go back over to the kit. You know, maybe I'll just do a quick vibe solo without any looping. Real quick. Why not? Take this off. I didn't do a lot of looping on the djembe. Next time. Here's a little, just a little improv. I'm going to do a little improv on the vibes. Leave the motor going? What do you think? Okay. No, I don't think you will.
right there. And go back to the drums. I hope you're enjoying this very hot Monday, Toronto. Oh, look, B Dragon 2329 is giving me advice about buying followers, primes, and views. Oh, thank you, B Dragon. I think I'll just muddle along. Okay, this next piece is going to be called Light from an Alien Sun. Let's see if it, uh, if my new chart here seems to do it. Okay, this is called Light from an Alien Sun.
light from an alien sun. The aliens sent us these communications. We haven't deciphered them yet. However, we do have access to a uh, artificial intelligence, uh, and I can bring that up for you now. Let's just go back here, and I will bring up my uh, machine learning system. to see if we could decipher those runes. Now, machine learning, uh, we've been working on it with like C++ and uh, base code for a long time. And these, these artificial intelligence, these machines, they are replicating themselves. They're doing their own thing. I'm not positive that I can uh, communicate with them. We'll see if they, they even want to uh, Yeah, there they are. Okay. Machine learning. Hello? You see? They won't even deign to talk to us. Well, look. Siri, I somehow, no, I don't want to talk to you, Siri. Thank you. How do you like that? <laughs> okay. Machine learning. How about a little applause? Let's see this.
Okay. Go away. Okay. That was called machine learning, and it followed alien uh, light from an alien sun, which had, for some reason, no communication with us beings in any case. But we've still got some more pieces. How about uh, we do Merrymakers? The Merrymakers are a fun group. They will uh, love to hang out with you. This piece is called The Merrymakers, and um, hopefully you, they'll make you merry. Thank you.
the Merrymakers. Thank you, Eric. I like this one, too. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've done uh, a whole bunch. Maybe I'll go back and see if I could do one more looping piece, maybe the first one that I did, to end today's stream. I'm going to do, um, yeah, I'm going to do the principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. That's the one I had a little trouble with. Let's see if I can um, bring it up real quick. Principles. There's principles. There's me. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, this is called Principles of Causal Completeness and Reciprocity. Yeah, you've got to figure causation, reciprocity, looping. Uh, actually, the term comes from Lee Smolin's books on quantum gravitational physics. And uh, I got that term, causal completeness, principles of causal completeness and reciprocity, out of his book, so thank you, Lee.
the principles of causal completeness and reciprocity. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hakuz. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, everybody that's come and enjoyed the show. Uh, if you ha are here and you haven't followed me, I've got 44 followers and I need 50 to become an affiliate, whatever that is. And I don't think I'm going to take B Dragon's advice and buy them. But uh, it's been a real pleasure playing today. Uh, not too hot in here, but it's getting hot in, uh, in the Sound Pilot studio. So, um, oops. So I guess I'll take off and uh, go and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Um, maybe I'll just leave you all with a uh, quick rendition of the dance gallery, which is, why not? You know, one more quick version of the dance gallery. I, I don't know if my schedule said I was starting at 3.30 and was going till 5, or for a, but I did definitely start at 3 o'clock and I'm going till 4.30, so my hour and a half is what I had intended to accomplish today. And it was just real nice and easy breezy. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to do ga dance gallery one last time. Let's see if I can get there with my new navigation device. Dance gallery. Dance gallery. Here we go. Bravo, bravo. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's been a real pleasure.
tomorrow I'm going to do this show again, but also host myself in the sub-basement and play some acoustic drums. I've also got a little preview, no, a little rumor. The second part of Chase is underway called Run, and that is going to take a little time. But also, any of you that are there, this Halloween, I'm going to be doing a special production at the Array Music space, ArrayMusic.com, A-R-R-A-Y Music.com. Uh, around Halloween, maybe uh, the day before and the day after, or something like that, a couple of shows from SoundPilot at the Array space. Really excited about that. So, uh, see you all for now. Thanks for dropping by.